Hey you guys, welcome back to Kimball's Corner, where today we are going to continue with our Animal Crossing portraits based on the fish in the video game. Today's fish is the zebra turkey fish. Um, yeah, so that's really pretty. I'm looking at it and I'm seeing purples, yellows, and oranges, so I grabbed some of the colored pencils. I think I'm going to do a colored pencil piece today, but I'm going to use <clears throat> Incredible Inks as a background. And I just grabbed, there's little pink tones, purple tones, and beige tones. So I grabbed these ones. And uh, yeah, let's just get to it. I'm gonna do like, try and do a soft blend for the background. Put my little turkey fish up there. And I'm gonna wet the paper first, just to help the ink spread. And... I would say purple's probably the most prominent color. I don't know. And it's a little tricky because these are somewhat complement colors. And you don't want them to blend and get all super murky. But I think we'll be okay. Add a little extra water. Oh, they smell so good. The old Incredible Inks from Jane Davenport like have a smell to them and they smell really nice. I think, anyway. So I'm just gonna close this book and, you know, hope they blend nicely while they're in there. There we go. I'm just take an old nasty piece of <laughs> paper towel and just clean this up so it doesn't bleed through to other pages. And maybe I can get a little, little drizzle if I do this. It's bleeding down ever so slightly. I try to keep it light just because I am going to go over it with colored pencils. So trying to cover up any dark areas would be a little hard. Dab up some excess. And let's dry this. Now I'm not sure if this is going to work the same as mermaid markers, but I'm going to spray a little water on there and let it set for just a couple of seconds and see if I can lift up and get a nice little texture happening. Ooh, that's nice. All right, we're gonna do a thorough drying. And hopefully you guys can see the camera since I can't actually see my camera and what I'm filming, but hopefully you can see the difference between no texture and some texture. All right, let's, let's just get to drawing. I'm thinking beauty, gorgeousness, loveliness. And if that doesn't happen, well, that's a good start. Oh, goodbye pigment. As I was saying, if it don't turn out pretty, that's what I was going for. Her face, like I'm not seeing, usually I can look at the splotches and I'll see like, I'll get an idea of what the face is gonna look like, but I'm not seeing it in this one. So I'm just gonna have to make it up. Also, when I do pieces with like the splotchy background, I like to kind of keep the drawing within, like confined within that shape. So I don't want to draw on the white parts. Sometimes I forget, but it looks, in my opinion, a little bit nicer and a little more uh, intentional if I keep it within. They all have such like big round eyes. I mean, I know fish are big and scary eyeball thingies, but whatever, who am I to change it up? And then this one has very large lips. And she is like, who the hell is that? Somebody creeping up on her. Okay, let's get 
Oh, I'm debating how I want to do this hair. If I want it to be similar to the fish. I mean, in that case, she does have, she would have kind of like a little mohawk, but you can't really. Okay, we're going outside the shape. Just because otherwise you wouldn't see that hair. I think that's a pretty good base to start from. Maybe I'll give her, she does have spots, but they're like a dark orange. Kind of like up here. Every time I do spots on the side, I think of Jetzia from Star Trek Deep Space Nine. And the hair is striped and it's orange at the tip. And then a really dark color right under that. And then a pale color <laughs> there-ish. And then kind of, eh, kind of purpley mauve at the bottom. Something along those lines, I don't know. That's the fun of using fish as a guideline for your color inspiration. Okay, so I'm gonna take my darkest color that I've pulled and do the darkest spots, like her nostril. Again, just making it up. I don't have a reference other than my color guide, my zebra turkey fish. Big old thick lashes. bring out some other colors for like her eye, do a little, little pink action with this little nubber. And we'll start with the dark again, just because where the, the lips meet will be one of the darkest spots. And then this side of her face will be darker, but I don't know how dark I want to go. So I will start with a purple. And just lay that in. Just making up the shading as I go. There's no actual photo or reference. Who's to say it's not right? <laughs> Why'd you gotta break? Why'd you have to break on me? Good enough.
All right, I know she kind of has a dead eye right now. Calm down. She's sleepy. Is she sleeping now? She's sleeping now. I think I just wanted to give her like some darker eyes and then I can add a little highlight at the end. All right, I think I'm gonna go, I mean, I know I've been doing a lot of orange lips lately, but I don't know where else to incorporate this orange. Maybe I'll do orange in the middle and purple on the outside. Now let's try and work them together. Just kind of blend them all, add a little highlight. And then come back with my darkest and just do a little detailing. Something like that. Those are kind of fun. Alrighty, let's do a little more detail around her eyes. Kind of completely forgot about it really but also it's I don't know it's not important I guess so I kind of go less on the details the further away I get from like the eyes nose and mouth Ooh, just throw things around whatever gets the job done am I right Push this back. Ooh, that's loud. So I'm gonna use this, which is the purple I used in the background, and a paintbrush. And I'm gonna actually turn this so it's easier for me. And I basically dab this on the end of my brush. Or look at that and see if they did what I wanted. Well, yeah. Give that a quick blow dry. All right, I'm gonna pull out my uh, Jane Davenport Storytime paint pen, just for a little bit of a thicker than normal outline. Because it's fun. one 
for the eyes. And then we'll do kind of a scratchier line along this. All right, you guys, I think that is it. Thank you so much for joining me. The zebra turkey fish as a mermaid. Woo! All right, you guys, I will see you tomorrow with yet another Animal Crossing inspired fish portrait thingamabob. Take care and uh, I'll see you later. Bye, you guys.